Hi everyone, this is John Garrett from hypertransitory.com and I'm coming at you with another Joomla tutorial and this one is on how to uh, how to position your module within your template and I did a, a tutorial previously on how to make up your own module position kind of on the fly in Joomla but um, someone did ask me a question and uh, they didn't quite understand what I was saying and I did realize that all oh, my tutorial didn't really explain that much on how to put the module you know, physically where you want it to go in the template. So that's what we're going to do today. And as you can see, I have the, uh, the default Joomla template installed here. And this is the Milky Way template. So when you have a fresh install of Joomla, this is pretty much what you're going to see. So I got a bunch of modules here um, right away that um, are already in place and um, you know a quick way to see where they're at is I'm gonna go up here and I think I showed this in the last tutorial too was to type in index.php question mark TP equals one so this is gonna show me what's what here so this is positioned at top this is positioned at user four this is positioned at right left you know it's kind of obvious down here is footer you know, syndicate debug area. Now, that's fine if I want to put modules in the right or in user two or blah, blah, blah. You know, if I want to put it somewhere where there's not already uh, a module position, I'm going to have to literally put that code where it needs to go in the template. Like above here um, is where I put the, the other one. And I'll show you a little bit more about how to do that. So, um, we can uh, explain, I can explain a little bit better on how that works. Now I'm going to get rid of this and go back to my normal view. Let's go into our admin area and get to our modules, extensions, module manager. All right, here's our modules. And what I like to do right away is just go and show all the modules. So they're, everything I've got is showing now. Uh, by default, these are all sorted by position you can always tell because the triangle is next to the header that it's sorted by so we can see what's all position left what's all position right and we got three things over here on the right you know polls who's online and advertisement which is easy to see here so in order to change that in order to change physically where those go I mean what you can normally do is just go in and change you know right to left so if I go to the left, click save. So now polls is not showing up over here. It's over here on the left. And I can change that back easily. Sometimes your position might be screwed up when you do something like that, though. But anyway... So that's simple enough, but but again, how do I get something here? So I'm going to have to go to my index.php file, and there's a couple of ways to do that. I, I know some of you like to use Dreamweaver, and some people use like Artisteer and other template uh, managers that have a, you know a visual layout. And I tend to work in the code because I just work a lot faster that way, which I definitely recommend. I mean, if you're not familiar with the code, everybody has to start somewhere. So, you know, I would suggest getting started, just dive into it and try to do more and more things in the code until you're comfortable with it. And that way, you're, you know, sometimes I notice you get kind of held hostage by Dreamweaver or by other programs. If they don't quite do what you want, you're kind of stuck until you can find a workaround. And I, I hate workarounds. But anyway, um, here's our default template. We can tell because the star is here. So I'm going to click on that. And now that I'm inside the Milky Way template, I'm going to choose Edit HTML. And I'm going to get the code for this file. Now, this is my template. And if necessary, I mean, I've done this in a pinch when I'm at another computer. I don't have my own tool set up already. So I need to go in here. And I need to find what I need to find. And I'm pretty familiar with how it's laid out. So I usually know where I can find the, the you know, module code. Uh, other people may find this a little bit more difficult because it's not color-coded text. And I don't prefer to work this way. So I'll cancel out of this. Uh, normally what I prefer to do is just open up the index.php file in my text editor, which in my case is Text Wrangler because I work on a Mac, and it's a free um, 
uh, text editor program that's pretty powerful. But for now, here's my standard Joomla install. And you're probably familiar with this layout of, of uh, files and folders because this is my Joomla directory. And you need to go to your template file, template folder, pick your template, and find your index.php file. So now I've got this open. And you can see it's color coded. This is a lot easier for me to read. And what I need to do is I need to find that space, um, like right here. I want it to go right above this. That's where my module is going to go, but there's no module there right now. So what to do, the thing to do here is uh, uh, when you go in your template, that main block of Joomla, the center block is your component. So what I like to do is find um, component and um, I don't think I need that. Let's just see if we can find it. And there it is. So that's my component. And that's something you should be aware of is that the component is the, the main block of content in Joomla. So when I have a, a form component, that means it's going to display here in the center or, you know, whatever component I have normally shows up here. So it replaces the main content. So um, what I can tell by that is that whatever I would put above here, if I put something above here, it's going to show up right above that component. And as you can see down here, here's footer. So, you know, if I scroll down, here's the footer down here. So we can tell that this is the end of the component and then the footer begins. So logically, I should be able to take that chunk of code and put that right above there. You know, I never type this code in. I just copy it. I'll just copy that entire line. I'm going to paste it in there. All right. Now, if I do this, if I save this, this is going to save another footer above there. So I have two footer positions now, which we'll see when I go ahead and refresh. Now there's my footer again, footer. And then I scroll down here. Here's footer. Well, okay. That semi worked. I need, I need to change that to something that I want. So back to text wrangler and it, what's simple here is really it's just the name that matters. That's all that matters. It's the, it's the code. The whole code is fine. And I just need to change the name of it to something else. Now, if I change it to right, everything on the right is going to show up there. And if I change it to left, everything on the left is going to show up there. So I need something else. You know, I can change it. I don't know, top component. That's what it's going to say from now on. Now, there's nothing assigned to top component now. So when I hit refresh, there's not going to be anything there. All right. But now I have a position. Now I have a chunk of code there where I can put something. Now let's go ahead and do this deal again. And we'll see, hey, here's top component. It's, it's ready for something right now. That's, I pasted that chunk of code there and I'm ready to put something there. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to have to go back into my back end, go to my module manager. And if you recall before, I had my random image module. And what I did was I typed in the position here. Instead of putting it into my, my uh, template details, uh, you know, my, my template details file or parameters file, uh, I, I just type it in here. So what I'm going to do just take that, copy that name, paste it in here. And so that is going to show up on top of there now. And it's going to show up in my menu assignment. It's only going to show up on the home page because it's only, only directed to show up there in the one spot. I'm going to apply this. Now the thing to remember about these positions, if you don't place it into your, into your template details, then if I switch off this and I save, then that disappears and I'm going to have to paste it back in there again, but it's not that big of a deal if you know that's what's going to happen. So anyway, now I should be good to go with my random image. Oh wait, I should actually enable it first. It's the little things that get you. 
so let's go ahead and refresh here and now I have my get rid of that my random image showing up there and it's showing up there because I pasted the code there and I can do that anywhere I want in that index file I can take that code and I can paste it wherever so let's just take it and paste it down by the footer I want to put it under the footer now let's go back to the Firefox refresh and there it is down there and it's really as simple as that I can put that wherever I want it to go just by pasting that chunk of code uh, wherever I want in the template and what's uh, sometimes difficult for people if you don't really know the code too much it may be difficult to find where it's at if you're using Dreamweaver then you can you can then go in and and use it visually and maybe just put your cursor where you want it to go and and paste in the, the code you might have to go into code view to do that but uh, again in people who use artist steer I think I've never used artist steer but I know a lot of people that swear by it so anyway uh, that is how you do it for now so if you have any questions you can just leave me a comment or uh, go to my site and send me an email off my contact form I'm more than happy to help so um, anyway that should do it for now. Uh, stay tuned to the next uh, tutorial and thanks for watching.